Profit Day and welcome back. Well, it's been a year since we last featured Taco Sinaloa and Tumon. We check in with them to see what they've been up to and the latest additions to their menu. It's a milestone for many small businesses celebrating one year in operation. For Taco Sinaloa, it signifies all the hard work and sacrifice has paid off. For co-owner and chef Liz Liao, opening a restaurant was new to her. I learned a lot in the past, the, this last year. So what made her want to open up Taco Sinaloa? I'm very, very far away from home. And my family, all my family friends is over there. And I was, um, I was pregnant and I was craving Mexican food. Her family suggested she cook the dishes she longed for, reminding her of the time when she used to help her grandma in the kitchen when she was five years old. I start to make here sopes and start to make uh, carne asada and I said, you know, I start to make tortas and I start to make enchiladas and all these things at home and home and, and everybody's like, uh, I start to invite family and family friends and friends and, uh, and I said, okay, now every time when I want to like, eat Mexican food, but I can cook here. No? Through the encouragement of her husband, John, family, and friends, the Sinaloa Eatery was opened in October of last year. We have ceviches, we have tostadas de jaiba, we have uh, pescado zarandeado. We have like, I don't know, thousands and thousands of things. And I want to bring a little, a little bit of things that we make there to here because it's good and it's different and it's a good flavor. Located in Timon in the La Isla Plaza between Livehouse and Lotus Surf Shop, Taco Sinaloa is offering authentic Mexican cuisine like wet burritos, carnitas, cochinitas, and carne asada tacos and taquitos. Since we last featured the restaurant, Chef Liz has added some amazing dishes like the birria quesadilla, Mexican pizza, pasole, and tortas. Now we keep in cooking more, but it's um, it's like, a, how do you say, satisfaction yeah. when you see the people reaction. For those who love heat and spice, the agua chile is perfect. This is a um, stream with, um, you can put like whatever you want, like uh, cucumbers, put, put onions, there's like at the basis that everybody put there. But the variation I believe is in the salsa, you know, because over there we use this like, a, a small chile that we call chile chiltepin, I believe, because I get confused with the piquin and chiltepin. But it's like a, it's like a dry chile, and we put it there. And here, we, of course, we, we don't have the chile, but we make it the most, the most uh, close there is. And this is one like a kind of example the the seafood that, like, that we like to eat there. Dishes are made fresh to order, and even their salsa, pico de gallo, guacamole, is house made, and they're such a hit. They now have a salsa bar, so customers can load up on their favorites. Sometimes they, the, it's long cook. Mm. Some, not, some dishes are four hours, some ones are like three hours. The short one is like two hours. And depends, you know, sometimes how much we need to cook. But it's this time, I really, really like when the people come here and say, oh, you know, we really like your food. It's like, a, very authentic. Someone says like, I never try. This is really, I really like it. No steps are skipped here. In fact, to ensure authenticity, Liao says they import chiles and spices from Sinaloa. And boy, with one bite, you can definitely taste the difference. From smoky to spicy to sweet to salty, the flavors will have your taste buds dancing. And to wash it all down, enjoy a refreshing michelada. You know, a lot, a lot of people like here in the island, uh, maybe it's like, um, I don't know, don't know too much about like their food they are bringing here because it's like very, very like Sinaloa. You know, I'm yeah. from Sinaloa. And like many small businesses who've experienced ups and downs, she has remained optimistic and hasn't allowed it to break their stride. We really, really love what we do over there and every day we try to do our best. If you have yet to stop by, Liz has this to say. Come and try, you know, it's, it's like, you're gonna like it. <laughs> it's good. The, we have now like a more options. You can try here, you can try there, you can try every, every different places. Maybe you're gonna like one dish from us, and maybe you're gonna like other dish from other places. Uh, it's like variety, you know? 
can try, try food is, is, is good, you know, it's, it's, it's flavor is, our, our food is, uh, yeah, it's different, but they're, it's different in a good way. So what are you waiting for? Experience Sinaloa and Cuisine and stop by Tacos Sinaloa today. They're open for lunch Tuesday through Friday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. And on Saturday and Sunday, they remain open till 2.30 p.m. For dinner, it's 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. But on Friday and Saturday, they're open till 10 p.m. To keep tabs on the new menu items and specials they roll out, like their page on Facebook and make sure to follow them on Instagram. For more information or to place orders to go, give Tacos Sinaloa a call at 648-8226. A big thank you to John and Liz for keeping us well fed during the shoot. Coming up, we have details to the Saints and Sinners Bingo Comedy Show taking place at the Sister Roberta Center in Tamuning. You're watching In the Mix.